Okay, using the um, leading strainer board, pull the edges out. Drop the bit out of the back. Place it under the netting. It's got this round bit on here so it keeps the lugs pointing upwards. And set the clamp back on top. Put it in the right position, just stand on it and that bends the netting down a bit. And then keep standing on it while you put the wedges in. They're all in firmly, and then it's ready to stand up and hook the boundary strainers on. Put the chains in position here. And crank these up, trying to keep the vertical stay wise. So that right angles to the ground. And you keep straining it until you get half that tension crimp. The wire netting's got a tension crimp, and the correct tension is to get about half of that out. See, so put a bit of weight on them. When you're tying off in the middle of the fence, you use the two strainer boards how we've got here. So you put them on the same way as I did putting the single one on. And this is just about ready to go. Got the top boundary strainer hooked up. Just hook the bottom one on there. Hook the chain in. And crank it up. Once you get it in the vertical position, it's a matter of just doing about the same number of clicks with each one, they can do a couple of clicks there, a couple on the bottom. And now that's ready to tie off in the middle using permanent wire strainers or crimp sleeves are also a good alternative.